Well, thank you for being with us here on this Tuesday of the Word of Encouragement. And today I want to go to the book of Psalms. We're looking at Psalm 34, and there's many blessed verses, as there is, of course, throughout Scripture. Uh, but some of these psalms are very special as you go through. And this begins with a phrase that you find throughout the psalms, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yesterday we talked about let brotherly love continue, having that selfless perspective of caring about others. Well, here's another continue, and that is to bless the Lord at all times, to have a heart of praise. That's the opposite of reactions and worrying about uh, your situation. It's uh, instead to praise the Lord for what he's doing. But in this context, he goes on, and this isn't just internally praising the Lord, which we should. We should have a spirit of thanksgiving all of the time. But it goes on in verse 2 to say, My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it, hear thereof, and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Now we've gone from private praise, which is very important. That ought to be part of your daily prayer life, to public praise. Clearly, uh, when we boast of the Lord, those who have a humble heart will hear of it and they will be glad because they understand that this is true and they also are worshiping the Lord and it reinforces them in their walk with God. You know, God's very pleased when our attitude and our talk strengthen someone else. We are to be edifying one another. And so when we praise the Lord and our heart is filled with the Spirit and we put things in the right perspective, even if another person's walking with God, it does, it, it still does something very special. It reinforces what they're doing and, and you have a kindred spirit. We, we just love it when we're able to praise the Lord. And that's what it says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. That's why it's important to be in church, to be able to sing praises and to testify of what God has done and to have a spirit of thanksgiving and to listen to the word of God and praise the Lord for truth that comes forth. It strengthens one another when we sense others that are having this kind of perspective. And so I want to encourage you, be a continual praise person. <laughs> Always be thanking the Lord. But speak out loud. Talk about how great your God is. That ought to be your fellowship. Now, I'm not talking about being pious or, or forcing something, but let the Spirit of God just cause you to have a spiritual perspective. And anyone who has a heart for God will rejoice. And those that maybe are struggling God could even use it to work in their hearts. So let's exalt the name of the Lord together. God is pleased with that, and let's magnify the Lord, as David says, so that others can be edified.